Hi everyone, my name is Katura Bobo. I'm the illustrator of I Am Enough. Um, I'm here to share my illustration process and a little bit about myself and how I work as an artist. My mom introduced me to art very early on. Um, my brothers and I were homeschooled growing up, so she exposed us to all different types of things at a very early age. Like I don't really have any memories earlier than like being an artist, like that's always been a part of who I am. Inspiration is something that you never know when it's gonna hit you. But yeah, I was, I was just inspired by the things around me. So I live in a city that's like very multicultural and you know, we have a strong black arts scene here in Columbus. So I think a lot of times I was just inspired by what's going on here and you know, even in the world. I have probably a whole series of paintings that I created like four years ago. They're just really personal, I guess. And I think that's why they're my favorite. And probably nobody knows they're my favorite. And I don't know very many people have even seen the paintings, <laughs> to be honest. Like, there's one that's like really large. It's, um, I want to say it's like five feet by five feet. And it's upstairs in my in my bedroom. And it's a painting that I look at every day. I mean, I have certain paintings that are just like in my house that I kind of feel like I need to see them every day. Like they just bring me a sense of like peace and calmness and like the kind of environment that I want to have around me. We didn't know each other beforehand. So we just um, got on the video call and just like talked for like an hour or so. And we just kind of like talked about like our work and what's important to us and just like, you know, being a creator and having you know um, that connection was really it was really cool because it's like your purpose and what you want to do kind of like line up perfectly with what I want to do and how I'm trying to um, explore my art and get it out there. I couldn't have asked for like a better um, person to to be on this journey with. We've created like this you know this amazing book that you know the the world has kind of embraced and um, and then we created this a second book with I Believe I Can. So it's been a great working relationship with her for sure. I Believe I Can came out last year um, and it's the same concept as I Am Enough. And I Believe I Can was just like an, a second effort to for, for kids to like, you know, empower them and to uplift them and to, you know, show them that like you can literally do anything you wanna do if you put your heart and your mind behind it. So I would just tell you to continue to work and like dedicate yourself to your work. Um, I think a lot of times we get caught up in our day to day and don't realize that like creating art and creating art is a lasting impact and like how kind of volatile, but also how really important it is. And also just find your niche. I mean, I think it, it took me a while when I was a kid, I would do like Looney Tune characters and like, you know, like the typical cartoon characters and stuff like that. And then as I got older, I felt, I found more so like things I was passionate about, like things actually like had a deeper meaning to it. And that kind of took me to where I am now. Um, but I think it's just important to, to find, to find something that you're passionate about and to also maybe find a void. Like a lot of times they're like, that's what I seen, I guess, like, like early in my twenties, I realized that like, like as black women, we're not necessarily like represented in the best way, a lot of times in media and art. And I wanted to fill that void and then the natural hair movement was around and I felt like compelled to create art around that as well. So I think you just need to find something that you're passionate about, something that you enjoy, something that you love and just like fully dedicate yourself to it. All right, everyone, thank you for tuning in and I hope you enjoy reading I Am Enough. Uh, you can check me out at katuraariel.com. Thank you, bye.